Good day, friends, and welcome to another episode of Tinkercad TV. Once again, friends, these episodes are designed to entertain and inspire, so let's get cracking. Friends, this epic creation comes from Tinkercad designer Don Fish. This is an amazing demolition car. Before I dive into this design, though, let me show you why it was made. There is a Tinkercad designer, Graphic Volcano. You can search Graphic Volcano, plus I will have a link in the description, but check it out. Graphic Volcano has made a demolition derby contest. The instructions are pretty simple. Welcome to my second contest. It's demolition derby contest. So here's how to enter. React with keep going. That's it. If you have Discord, you can find them here. Your car must be from scratch, cannot be an import or a remix. You can work in teams. Don't be afraid to be sloppy with the schemes. No foul text in the car. And numero uno, have fun. Blacklisted vehicles are planes, boats, tanks, and helicopters, etc. It has to be a demolition derby car. And of course, there will be trophies. So I'm going to close this at the moment and let's return to Dawn's design. This is a 1968 Chrysler Imperial Derby car. Oh my gosh, check out the features. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Dawn has also added notes so we can check things out. So if we come up here, this ram is welded and reinforced metal beam with an axe head welded to the front because yes, oh my gosh, that is so violent. Dawn notes it's my car of choice, none other than the 68 Imperial. It was a tank on wheels. It's even banned in most demolition derbies. As we slip back to the engine, why have a bulletproof car without a bulletproof engine? Swapped into it is none other than the Ford F300 inline six. It is very resilient and check it out. We can hide the hood to take a look at that beast. Oh my gosh, Don, that is awesome. Let's slide back along the vehicle. Connected to said engine is a four-speed manual transmission. Fully reinforced the cabin with metal beams making the roof hard to cave in. It has a 100-gallon fuel tank placed inside the cabin to prevent damage and puncture. It has large welded beams attached to the side of the car, good for protecting those sides of the car. Do also notice that Don has done a lot of extra work to make his vehicle look weathered and rusted. That is such a fun touch. As we spin around the back, we have got another ram built for ramming cars from the rear. And then finally, old rusted out steelies, good for demo derbies and cheap enough to not worry about them being damaged. Don, this is absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing. Friends, remember if you ever make something awesome and want to share it with me, it is so simple. Click this button, generate a link, and then copy that link. And then you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, Gmail, and TikTok. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. Of course, if those options don't work for you, don't forget you also have HLModTech.com. I have got the sweet webpage dedicated to Tinkercad. And then down at the bottom, a sweet messaging tool. You can add your question, comment, or suggestion and reach out to me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to highlight the Tinkercad community discord. As you can see, there are more than 400 members and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Please also remember we have the designer showcase with tons of amazing profiles. Friends, when you click on these, you'll instantly see the designs of all the users sorted by likes. I always like to remind you it's pretty cool to sort by recent. Of course, if you do see something you think is awesome, make sure you give it a reaction. Finally, friends, if you have something you think I should be showing on Tinkercad TV, don't forget there is a request a shout out button on this website. Of course, if you need a tutorial, it's included as well. Friends, as I wrap up this episode of Tinkercad TV, huge shout out to Dawn. Oh my gosh. 
fantastic creation. And once again, thank you so much for taking time to share it with us. And of course, friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.